almost caught that one. All right, welcome back to Safety's Off Show. Uh, today we have Jacob, who showed up late per usual, myself, and the man, the myth, the legend, legend, Justin Rogers. Justin, look in the camera and wave to your mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Like this, mom, on all three platforms. Uh, before we do get started, make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube. Jacob, help me out. You follow the podcast on Apple Podcasts. You follow the podcast on Spotify. You follow, follow us on the, Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. TikTok. And TikTok. And Facebook. And, and tell them about the new thing. Oh, yeah. We have a Facebook group. Facebook group. Uh, look up Kepler Creek Outdoors. Uh, it is the most prestigious group of young men that are, or not even young men, just men that are the most average of hunters. I added, if you got added, congrats. You're, I think you're an average hunter. I think I added Justin. <laughs> I, I am average. We're average because we're not, we're not pro. We're not Cameron Haynes. So is he even good at hunting or does he just yes, run a lot? He has like the best, like when he hunts, he kills something. He has like a hundred percent success. I think he rate. uses a whole bunch of guides. Yes. On and he runs. Well, really good land. Yeah, maybe If so. I ran, I could probably kill that many deer too. No, that's not why he kills stuff. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's cause he runs. Didn't he live in like Oregon? Yeah, he does live in Oregon. Hey, side note, Cameron, if you ever listen to this, we would like to be your best friend. Yeah. Cameron, if you want to take me hunting, I would go. If you could, you could show off that private uh, land, public land. Yeah, whatever. You can show up. You can show us how good, how not good, whatever you are at mm -hmm. hunting. Uh, so today we're going to talk. Justin did all the work for the podcast. Um, what about me? Such a selfless guy. You did nothing per usual, but we. But you're here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. You're here. I showed up. They were sponsored by Polar Pop today. Sponsored by Polar Pop. That's no free ads. Polar Pop send us money. Justin put together a package. I guess is it a package? Yeah, several different options. Yeah. Uh, to get into archery. But every I told him everything that the guy that we want to buy needs to be from Amazon. So you could get this stuff shipped to your house in two days. Most of it's Amazon Prime I was looking at. So uh, I thought that's pretty interesting. It's pretty crazy now that you can just go to Amazon and get broadheads shipped mm -hmm. to your house in two days. America, love it. So that's pretty cool. So I'll let Justin start. So you had three bows. Yes. Talk about what you think is the best deal. Okay, so do you want me to tell you like what the three bows are? Sure, yeah. Okay, so um, if you go on Amazon, you look up like just a hunting bow, you get a whole bunch of different options, and there are a couple of name brands, name brands that are represented. You have a couple of PSE, um, several Bear. I'm and team PSE, by the way. You, you PSE guy? Oh, yeah. I was PSE for a long time. Matter of fact, when I got my Elite Cure in 2020, I actually Can't went to the shop shut up <laughs> uh, I went into the shop expecting to buy a PSE um, the new one that uh, uh, John Dudley had just released okay. um, but they uh, hoot and holler had stopped carrying PSE and so I ended up getting an elite but anyway there is a uh, PSE has a few on there so does diamond which is the diamond is the underwrite of is it elite now elite okay yeah. so yeah you can get some of those um, so three bows you have the PSC Brute NXT, and that is a package. And I think the final price on that, so when I say a package, that means it has stabilizer, quiver, sight, peep sight. It, like, it's ready to rock and roll. Now, you can always upgrade your equipment, that sort of stuff, but it has everything that you need on the bow. And so the whole package there was like 680 bucks. Boom. Is that, is that right? Yeah, and I forgot to say that like, I gave you a price yeah. uh, limit. Try not to go over 750 bucks. And then try to give people like a $500 option, I guess, as well. So, mm -hmm. really, if you just want to get into it, you just buy the PSE Brute, you're done. Yeah. Like, you need some arrows. Yeah. And then in a, re a release, because it wasn't in that. Arrows, but, release, um, broadheads. Right. That'll but be, you've got your stabilizer, you got your sight, uh, you got your, um, well, well, I guess that's it. Stabilizer, sight, and bow. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. Right, yeah. And uh, then the other one you had on there was... The Bear Cruiser you had, it was like 300 bucks. Yeah, like 380 Yeah. Now, Bear did have another option that was like 309 I, I saw that. And I read the reviews, and I was like, I ain't going to recommend this one to <laughs> Kepler Creek yeah. fans. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not not going to be responsible for whatever blows up in your hand. Yeah, the Bear Cruiser, I would suggest for like a middle school, high school kid. Yeah. 
you know, like you're really just getting into it. Mm -hmm. But I did like the other one, the bear divergent. That's a bear bow that you had on there that I was like, all right, that's the one where you're an adult. Spend a little bit of money. Yeah, I like the divergent. Yeah, you just like it because it looks cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, absolutely. What about it looks coolest to you? Uh, the colors. No, actually, I like I like the skeletonized, like where it's okay. more skeletonized. Yeah, yeah. I know that a lot of bows are like that now, but uh, like mine, I shoot a Martin yeah. Saber. Yeah, I think is what it is. That that Joker's old. Can't can't hide money. I know you can't have money, <laughs> and I don't clean it. <laughs> okay, we won't, we won't get into you cleaning your equipment. So, of those two, PSA Brute, more expensive, but it's a package. Bear Diversion, I think, for a grown man would probably be the smart move. Right? Yeah. The yeah. the package, you're stuck with whatever comes with it. Like, you're, your money's already invested in the pieces. Right. Whereas, you get the bear bow, now you get to really put on the bow what you want to put on it. Right. Yeah. And you don't feel tied down to whatever crap sight or whatever it came with. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so moving on. I honestly, so you had two options for arrows, mm. but I just really like the Carbon Express ones. Like I was like, all right, this is a great deal. Like I'm thinking about getting them and just doing a review of them and using them for a year. That uh, sounds like a great YouTube video. It does. Yeah. I mean, what the heck? It's not like I go to shoot competitions or anything. I know you've you've got your like crazy impressive build, but you're also going to go kill an elk. Yeah. Or shoot it at an elk. Yeah. I'm going to shoot it at a, you know, very small doe. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> and, so and that's 50 bucks a half dozen? No, it was like uh, 45. 45? Or something like, I mean, no, granted, that's not that big of a difference. Yeah. But yeah. 45 for a half dozen arrows, like, I'm going to lose too. I think I spent, I had gold tips, mm -hmm. maybe? Yeah. I think there were like 100 mm -hmm. Maybe a half dozen or eighty a half dozen. You just keep telling you keep telling everybody how much money you have. That's what you just keep saying. Well, my, and Jake, my, <laughs> my Martin bow is probably three hundred dollars. In Jacob's defense, uh, every arrow. So I shot a, a a big sow last year, and my arrow blew through or hit another pig that I didn't see behind her. That pig ran off with my arrow, and as he was running off, all that was going on in my head was, there went seventy bucks. Yeah, that's tough <laughs> on one arrow. Uh, that's tough. tough. That's that uh, that might be yeah. some leaky waiters. <laughs> yeah, that's the leaky waiters. We'll get into later. Uh, so I would really just say Carbon Express. Uh, was there any like huge difference between the other set of arrows? No, it you was had? that one. Uh, Beeman has some pretty affordable. Yeah. Beeman is a uh, like a another brand within the Easton franchise. Right. Um, and so I, I think the Easton bow hunters were on there, and they were all very similarly priced, like forty five, fifty bucks for a half dozen. That's six arrows, enough yeah. to sight, and then put three of them in there with some broadheads and go hunt. Yeah, I can't. I can't get over how cheap. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try them. Most likely, I have four arrows. And if you watch, if you watch the uh, review video I do of the flambeau case, you're like, I know people are home. <laughs> probably like, I was wondering, like, oh, he's just putting a couple in there. Just yeah, to, like, no, I've just got to, like, four. Show what goes in there. <laughs> no, nope, totally got four <laughs> arrows right now, and that's it. So that's yeah, awesome. Uh, moving on to broadheads, you obviously need broadheads, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you had Slick Trick and then Rage Hypodermic, are both around the same price. But Slick Trick, you were telling me before we started recording, is not a – or it's a fixed blade, but it's a replaceable blade. Yes. Which is pretty – I mean, okay. Guys like Jacob, mm -hmm. no offense, Jacob, the guy who finds sunflower seeds in his shotgun. I got to sit up because I know I look short on the show. So you might not want a Slick Trick. Because you're gonna have to change it, you're gonna want something more like what'd you what'd you call them? The Monotech. So Montech is Montech. a, is a um, fixed blade. You yeah, shoot them, they dull. Piece. Throw them away, buy another one. That's you. So uh, well, I shoot shot Muzzy for like four. That's blade. you, but Muzzy, you can change the blades you just, out. You can yeah. change them out. But you can change them slick No, trick. no, literally, you literally, I would uh, <laughs> just throw them away. Yeah, and, and just, just buy new ones. Yeah. So you and those would be are like those are like thirty bucks for like what, four. I have no idea. Maybe I've three, never three, shot muzzies. I shoot rage hypodermic, and I'm not getting into this with Justin because I know he wants to get into the whole fixed blade versus mechanical blade. And then Jordan too, I think our buddy Jordan, I think shoots fixed blades. Y'all shoot these really high dollar ones though. What are they uh, called? We do. So and, and I'll say that like I, I put this together knowing there was a price point that I was trying to reach, and I was trying right. to give like good options. So I sh I shot slick tricks. Yeah. I shot rage hypodermics. But now I'm an adult, and I, <laughs> and I shoot a iron, responsible adult. I shoot Iron Will, um, and so they man, it's 
it's thirty five dollars. So these are thirty five for three. Yeah. That's that's the package that yeah. that we're putting together right here. But Iron Wheels are thirty five a pop. However, they have a lifetime warranty. If the ferrule bends, if anything goes wrong, if you nick the blade, you send it and they send it back. Now it does not. They do not send it back if you lose one, which is what happened with the aforementioned arrow. Right. Yeah. Say, what you if the yeah. logs running <laughs> off? With, uh, <laughs> if I had this on video, what do you do, Iron Will? Yeah. Like, please, I please help me out there. there. <laughs> Iron Will just sounds expensive, and he said something about the ferrule getting broke. I'm not gonna lie; I have no idea what the ferrule is. I have no is. idea what a ferrule oh, is. Oh, absolutely no idea. But uh, if it gets broke, they'll fix it. It's, yeah, if it's if it bends, breaks, yeah, anything. bends, breaks yeah. the ferrule. You don't want a leaky or a broken ferrule. No, you <laughs> you really don't, Tyler. I'm yeah, you, you really don't. You really don't. <laughs> uh, so me, I would be. I'm a rage hypodermic guy. Jacob is muzzy. Whatever he can throw away. Our guy over here is iron wheel. Whatever's most expensive. So, uh, <laughs> moving on to releases. I'm, you have True Fire and mm-hmm. you have Scott Quick Shot, both. Both spring loaded? Honestly, I have no idea. I think the True Fire you sent me was a spring loaded one. It was like 35, 40 bucks. Both of them were around the same price. Mm-hmm. I want to say the the Scott Quick Shot one was not. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a True Fire guy. I don't. I shoot a Scott. Do you? Mm-hmm. See, I think it's just whatever you're best with. Yeah. Like whatever you start with. There's some guys that say, you know, you want to get the ones that are super, super sensitive and stuff. Like, they basically compare it to rifle. But most of them, you can adjust the sensitivity anyway. Right. There's a little Allen wrench component, and you can make it as hair trigger as you want. I don't know if you can do that on a $35, 40 one. You know, that's a point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But once you get it, once you get up there into the uh, the nicer ones like that, you definitely can. But starting out, you could kill a deer with this. 100%. It's not going to make, in my opinion, it's not going to make that big of a difference. Look, I'll uh, tell you this. I, I lost my release last season. My like I had a Scott that I had used for two two years, yeah. real broken in, loved it. So you just went and, and one day, no, one day I like I, I walking out of the woods, I I couldn't find it. Yeah, it was gone. Still haven't found it to this day. So that night I grabbed my wife. My wife has a Velcro strap, True Fire like fifteen dollar release. And so I went outside and I shot a couple arrows with it. And I was like, all right, this was going with me to the yeah. woods tomorrow. I and mean, I could have killed a deer with yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, there's some things we talked about it last show. There's some things to trick a deer, and there's some things to trick a hunter. Like, there's some things to sell to a deer, some to sell to a hunter. Like, and eh, do you need it? No. Do you want it? Maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you may want it, but like, there's some things that are just super effective. That's why I can't justify buying a new bow. Like, I shoot pretty well with it. It's not worried about it. Um, and then the sight trophy ridge is. It's not like bottom bottom tier stuff i think they have good stuff Mm -hmm. i think they make good things and you had the volt and you had the joker one Mm -hmm. much more expensive or right yeah i don't remember which one one of them was like 30 bucks and the other one was like 80 bucks yeah yeah one was a five pin or were they both pins set pins uh one was a five pin yeah i think the volt's a five pin i'm not a i'm not a fan of the pin i'm i'm a roll guy yeah, I like to roll and move it. Although that does kind of suck. Like if the deer does move or whatever you're you trying to shoot. Single pin roll. Yes, single okay. pin roll. Jacob, yeah. what do you shoot? A uh, single pin, and I just adjust. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Hey, if I, I usually sight sight it for about 25 yards, and then I'm like oh, a little bit further than that, maybe maybe a little closer, then I'll kind of have adjust up or down. <laughs> yeah. Look, let's be real. If that joker's 30, 40 yards out, I ain't shooting it anyway. Do you do you own a rangefinder? I do, but do you bring it with when you bow hunt? Yeah, but I'm always nervous. Uh. Like, that's why. That's why I don't really bow hunt a lot. Is because I'm always nervous. Nervous of what? I'm oh, nervous big scared dude. Off. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big dude in a tree, and I'm wobbling around. I'm trying to find stuff, and he's just like, "What are you doing? Peace." <laughs> yeah. I, sh- oh, I shot, but I will say, bow hunting. I shot one doe, and it was it was a small doe, and it was mm. the most exhilarating and like satisfying harvest I've ever had. Yeah. Because I was like. I had to be perfect at this. That single pin. It's a terrible shot. Yeah. Hmm. A, little, yeah. a little far back. I'm a big fan of, uh, so I, I shoot Trophy Ridge, but I have a React. And so um, I have the React Trio. So it has three yeah. pins. The top two pins are set for 2030. And then the 40 pin it ends up being your scroll pin. And so I can actually shoot out. I'll practice in my backyard out to like 90 yards. You just like launch. You literally it. cannot hide money. That's Dude, sick. I've that's never not, even heard of that. I've never even heard of having two fixed and one scrolly. Yeah. So you got one scrolly boy and two fixed ones? Yeah, I mean the whole housing scrolls, but once you begin to scroll it, you don't you don't worry about the, the top the two. The top pins. two, you just go yeah. to the third. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
That's not as impressive as I thought. No, I mean I'm That's not. Still sweet. I'm not Jordan Leg shooting that Garmin that has like you yeah. know you have the button to range it on the dang housing. Yeah, it which, just side for note: you. if I could have that, that'd be baller. Yeah, but I don't. Wives, Christmas, all of us. They could, yes. You could probably get a three for one deal. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> all right, moving on. Stabilizer. Mm. Um, you had limb saver and the NAP. Mm-hmm. Really, no difference other than NAP looks cooler. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be honest. Uh, but the limb saver, I have that really cool thing that they did for me. I don't know if it's because we have an Instagram with 10,000 followers and they thought we'd talk bad about them or not, but uh, I put my bow up for a long time and didn't shoot it for like two or three years. And so I was getting all new stuff uh, or just really just checking it out. And my stabilizer was melting. Like, it was I remember falling, you telling me yeah, about it was that. falling apart. And I was like, this you came is... over to my house to shoot when it was happening. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, this is weird. So I took a picture of it, sent a video of it, and I was like, you know, did I cause this, you know, whatever. Uh, and they were like, basically no questions asked. They were like, what's your address? We'll send you a new one. And they sent me all new ones. Like, that was pretty cool. So for that simple fact, I'll be a limb saver guy forever. Like, Man. just cool. So shout out limb saver. No Ooh. free ads. If you want to send me some more stuff, that'd be sick. Uh, but both are, I mean, the limb saver was four and a half inches long. Mm. And so it's not, you know, mm. I don't know. What you do? What do you do? Like you like long? You like the longer stabilizers, the heavier stabilizers, or? Uh, I used to shoot a, a six-inch octane. Um, it just came on a bow that I had bought. Yeah. Um, but on my current bow, I think I have, I either have the ten or the twelve-inch um, Trophy Ridge Static. Yeah. And it has like a couple of ounce weights at the mm-hmm. at the front to really make you fall forward with the bow. I like that one too. I like that one too, Jacob. What do you have? You don't know. You have Come no on idea. now. You, you already know. You have no idea. Yeah, well, one of my buddies had, had an extra one. He's like, "You want this?" And I was like, "This goes on here." And Jacob's still Sick. got the like uh, like the fishing lure things on his bow. You know, what I'm talking about like yeah. at the top. It looks like the little strings from the late '90s. Uh-huh. That's you. Yeah, yeah. Do you hey, have that? Hey, you know where I got them from? Who? Oh. No, I went. I went to Walmart. Got. The uh, little got, got the skirts from the bait yeah. section. Did you really? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that stuff works. No, it doesn't. A hundred percent. I would have loaned you the money. I would have loaned you the money for real. Can't hide saving. money. I, I mean, I could. I could afford. I hope at any point in my life I can afford to give you like I was ten like, bucks. I was like nineteen. Okay. Yes. Well, I was. I was like a broke. Broke college kid without being in college. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're so, just broke kid. I'm just broke. I don't think you have to say college every yeah. time. You can just so, say I was a broke kid. So this is this real. Tyler and I were talking before Jacob got here. I have not met Jacob before today. <laughs> and I was listening to the past two podcasts trying to see, like, who am I going to be talking with? And I walked in. I told Tyler we were just talking. I said, I said first, I gave a description of, of what I thought Jacob was going to be like. And boy, was I wrong. Uh, <laughs> but, but what, then, what, what were you picturing? Tell, so, tell the audience so, what we were picturing. So if, if you're just listening and you're not watching the video, I pictured like a dirty baseball hat, like greased up, long, longer red hair um, with a with with a matching longer red beard that was equally unkept. Travis. Um, <laughs> and so, um, but then in the last podcast, I heard something about deployment, and I was like, I got to go back to the drawing board. I have no idea yeah, what this he guy He might be clean shaven. <laughs> trim, trim the beard, maybe, long, maybe shorter yeah. hair. Yeah. And so, like, in my head, Jacob is not taller than 5'11. Right. And then Jacob walks in, and he's 6'4, and I'm like, yeah, I was totally wrong. Um, but I was accurate in my understanding of who he is as a hunter. Yes. Because I walked in and I said, Tyler, I feel like this guy tries to figure out how can I hunt the cheapest possible in every aspect of my life. A hundred percent. He did say that. A hundred percent. He did say that. He doesn't want to, you don't want to spend money on rim all, just don't clean your guns. <laughs> WD-40. Yeah, multi-purpose. Boom. Multi-purpose. There you go. Yeah. I needed to change some bolts out. I mean, just squirt some lotion on it. Roll Todd. I had a buddy that told me WD-40 was way better than rim oil. I mean, it's I basically the same thing. That's a different – we could talk about that mm. a different time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you are 100% accurate of Jacob, which we all love Jacob. He's our Jacob. Yeah, yeah, dollar uh, dollar spinner baits for – Yeah, for H&H. Silencers. Yeah, yeah, H&H and, yeah, H&H, and, yeah, H&H, and he's putting it on there. 88 cents at the, you know, hardware store. Uh, and then the last thing you have is a quiver, the CBE quiver. I checked it out. I was like, yeah, that looks good to me. Boom. It's like, what, 20 bucks? Yeah. Something crazy like that. Yeah. All of these, first, first off, for Justin for putting this together. Clap, clap. Hey. 
Great all job. glory to God. Literally all the work and all the glory to God. There's no way you did this on your own. Mm. Uh, but solid list. I'll put all the links in the description on YouTube, and I'll try to put them in the links on the podcast if you want to check out any of that stuff. Um, I honestly am going to buy Carbon Express arrows. You should. I mean, just try it out. Yeah. I'm going to lose nothing. Correct. Like, I'm not going to shoot super far or whatever. Like, no. I'll, I'll be honest. If if When I go to redo my setup yeah. and try to get away from the spinnerbait silencers, yeah. I'll probably go down this list. Yeah, just check I was it out. At, I was looking at some of these prices going, huh. It's not bad. Yeah. Huh. I mean, you could, get, you could get into the sport fairly cheap. Now... When we talked, and I, I told you to like you know make this list or whatever, I to- told you before the show that I kind of had a different spin on it in my own head. I like this one better. But I was thinking, like, all right, you wanted to hunt. You wanted to bow hunt. You had never hunted before. Mm-hmm. So I just looked up on, like, Amazon green T-shirt, 6 bucks, Wrangler tan pants, 29 bucks. You know, uh, stuff like that's That's what you would, that's what I would do. I'd get tan pants, green shirt, boom. Like, well, you wouldn't get camo pants. Oh, no, I wouldn't get camo pants. I could wear them tan ones out. You know what I'm saying? I could wear them to church. I could wear them to Walmart. <laughs> I could wear them to. Yes. Yeah, multi purpose pants. We are a multi purpose pants podcast. No camo pants. No camo pants unless you're in a tree. Bow hunting. So now we're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but thank you. Yeah, because I was, I was about Segway to have to like, into the get pants. up and. and and walk out. Oh, yeah. You're you know, a, he's a camo pants guy. Me and yeah, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Camo pants but guy. I'm also not a big duck hunter. So yeah. I am I'm deer, hog, elk. And so like, I mean when I go elk hunting in Colorado, I'm bow hunting elk. You probably gotta be in camo. Yeah, you yeah. pretty much do. Can't be in like blue jeans. No. But did the Indians wear pants? They didn't even wear pants. You're right. That's they wore new, flaps. That's my new argument. They wore flaps. Yeah. That, that's probably not. You're a flap guy. <laughs> <laughs> you won't do it. Now with these great. mosquitoes, bet, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much those things run? <laughs> yeah, the flaps. I bet I'd get two for ten. I can make I cut up a jersey in here and give you one. I could probably get two for ten. You could probably get two for ten. That'd be a sick YouTube video. You just running around in Indian gear. Me versus Travis. Yes, running around in Indian gear trying to kill a deer or a hog or something else. All right, anyways, we've gotten way off. So, also, new segment. If I had a mixer with a button with a certain, like, sound, I'd... That's the new segment alert sound. New segment, Leaky Waiters. Every single week, we have to think of something... That is the equivalent to having leaky waders. Like you go hunting, you step out in the water. Like we talked about in one episode, like your knee starts to get cold, you're wet, it sucks. Mm. So some that sucked from the last week. All right, you want me to go first? Yeah, because you already I, know we, I forgot for the third. Should time. we save you for for last though, since you actually like know what you're going to talk about, or like it's, it's probably going to be better than us? No, it's not going to be better. I mean, like. Tyler, you're better than us in every way. No, that's true, but that but that doesn't <laughs> pertain to this right now. But I know, Jacob, why didn't you write it in your phone? Here we are. This is our life. This is my life with Jacob. So um, I could save money by not putting it in my phone. That's true. All right, so my thing, uh, my leaky waiters, was I just had to go to Lowe's. And if you've ever gone to Lowe's and you've needed help, if you are in any other section of Lowe's other than the lumber section, you're fine. Like I was in like the uh, the bit area, like I needed a, a certain drill bit, and I just couldn't I couldn't find it. And a guy just walks up to me, he's like, "Can I help you?" Actually, side note, this is a a very leaky waiter, uh, who I thought was a woman comes up to me and is talking to me, and I said, "Yeah, I'm polite, yes, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, yada yada yada." Uh, and this person has a mask on, and at the end of the conversation. The person takes off the mask and says, and like makes a point to tell me, I got to take this mask off and looks at me. It was a dude the whole time. Very small dude. And I feel like, and I'm short, but anyways, I felt terrible. I just awkwardly walked off. That's not even my leaky waiter. My leaky waiter is, I <laughs> that's just tried. That guy's leaky waiter. That's that like guy. He, home he, he was like, man, this sucks. <laughs> yes, that's that guy's leaky waiter. Mine is I needed help in the Lowe's lumber department, and I wanted a 4x6x10. By 4x6x10. By by it's not that hard. I couldn't find it. Like, obviously, I can look for it, right? I was building a swing set. That's okay. Off, yeah, I, off topic. I was yeah, to, yeah. Well, four by six. Yeah, right. So I see there's four by six by twelve, four by six by sixteen, uh, and then there's some four by four by sixteen. No four by six by tens. I go over and ask the guy. I knew I shouldn't. It was newest waste time. 
hey man you got any four by six by tens yeah right over there and literally points to where i just was so i again go over there and like i think i'm the i'm the one that can't understand Mm -hmm. so i spend another 10 minutes like looking at every single board i walk around the uh, other aisles because i can't ask twice i'm a dude i'm not gonna ask twice mm -hmm. i'm not gonna ask you to come over and like show me where it's at so uh then i had to buy a 12 foot board I have a four-door truck with, like, a six-foot bed. It's hanging out. I have to go over Jimmy Davis Bridge in Bossier. If you know that bridge, it's, like, straight up. I was very nervous. Anyways, that's my leaky waiter. I made it there. Did you put the red flag on it? Yeah, the dude was like, you want a uh, you want a flag or whatever? I was like, yes. Yes, I do. So, at least that I way, don't. If, if it comes out Final Destination style, at least they'll see it this a little bit that, better coming yeah, at they you. They see the flag yes. waving. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, Jacob, did you remember your leaky waiter? Yes. Let's hear it. Can't wait. So as we all know, I take care of my stuff. I'm yeah. sorry. I take care of my stuff. Yes, you take care of your stuff. Uh, I got home the other day. We went out of town. We went to Dallas or Austin and Houston on a couple different things, different trip, stop trip thing. That made no sense. Nope. Went to Texas, take some kids on this trip. I get back, and we're getting out of the, the passenger van. We had like a 15-passenger van. And I parked next to my Jeep at Calvary Baptist behind it. And the whole reason why we parked there was I figured nobody's going to mess with my Jeep parked behind a church. Nobody's going to hit my car behind a church. Right. So all the kids get in their cars and we're saying goodbye, all that. And I look over and I'm like, my Jeep's a little bit dirtier than normal, which is saying something. Yeah. And I realized that it was dented in the passenger door. And I'm, th- and I'm thinking, who would have hit my car in a church parking lot and just leave? Yes. And so I'm looking around for, for cameras and stuff, and, and I call my buddy Mark, and I'm like, shout out, Mark. I know you're going to watch this. Um, call my buddy Mark. I'm like, hey, is there any cameras out here? And he's like, no. Why? What happened? I go, somebody smoked my Jeep. I'm talking about dented in the door, like the uh, like the quarter panel. I don't know if that's a quarter panel. It's a column. Yeah. A column between the front. Right. Medium panel. Medium panel. Um, dented it all up. So now I'm mad. Mm-hmm. Because this is the nicest thing I have. And I'm mad. Yeah. It probably is the nicest yeah, thing I Yeah, I started thinking. I was like, oh, uh, yeah. And Not that that's a joke. It's just, it might be the nicest thing you've kept. For this nice. long. Right. Yeah. So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I can't believe. Like, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, and I'm mad now. I'm thinking it was some kid pulling through the parking lot like in the middle of the night whatever and then here's my leaky waiters i look at it or i i end up finding a note on the windshield and i look at the name and it's a kid that i like (laughs) i don't know if it's a leaky waiter actually yeah it is the leaky waiter real part of it's because i know the whole story you waited like a week to call him so the poor kid had to wait all his his uh, leaky waiter (laughs) the poor kid didn't hear back for like days so i so it probably happened Thursday He's gonna end up in therapy. Yeah, it probably happened. So we left Wednesday, so it could happen Wednesday or Thursday. Right. I get back Saturday night. We go out to eat for his birthday, and I'm like, my birthday, not the kid's birthday. Yeah. And so in my mind, I'm thinking, look, I'm I'm not even gonna worry about this because I know who the kid is and I like the kid. Right. He's a good kid. Kind of sucks because I was mad. Yeah. Um. That's the that's the you word. wanted to be a jerk. So your uh, leaky waiters, you wanted to be a jerk. And, and then, I have a and I have a dinner. Tr- I mean, I gotta, okay, pay, you I gotta do. pay a copay. Yeah, you do have to do that. That's true. Yeah, but that does suck. That does suck. But so yeah, I didn't call him. We got back Saturday is when I saw it. Saturday like four. Yeah, I didn't call him Sunday. I called him at like seven o'clock before we filmed the last episode. When I showed up over here and I called and the kid was like, "Hello," I'm like, "Hey, it's uh, Jacob Coltson. You hit my Jeep," and he goes, "Oh, uh," and then he hung up. Or what I thought hung up. Apparently, he doesn't have any service at his house. I call back. He sends me the voicemail. I'm like, okay, I thought I liked this kid. <laughs> now, now I'm going to be a jerk. Yeah. But he called me back with his mom, and his mom's like, yeah, we uh, we're, we started getting a little nervous that nobody called. It's been this long. Like, does this guy not know that there's a big tent in the side of his car? You know, good for that kid, but I hate that that kid had to wait all weekend for you to call. Yeah, he was sweating guy. too. And yeah. It, but when I when I when I talked to him, I said, "Look, dude, like you play Mr. Nice Guy." Oh, I said the amount of cars I've hit. I promise this isn't gonna be the last time you hit a car. Right. Wow. <laughs> Great. 
I don't know if you should be giving life advice like that, but whatever. You felt better. Yeah. All right, Justin, your leaky waiter. All right, my leaky waiter is uh, actually from today, but it has a much longer backstory. Okay. Um, so um, I am new to the dad world. I'm a girl yes. dad. Uh, Team girl dad. That's right. Uh, my little girl is five months old. And so last summer when we found out that we were going to be having a baby, um, it was the first thing in my head is i now got to pay for child care. And so um, we call a daycare facility that is going to remain nameless for the purpose of this podcast okay. because my child is going there. <laughs> um, so we call this this uh, daycare, and they're like, uh, yeah, we'll have a spot for her in April that, because that's when my wife was going to go back to work after maternity leave, taking yeah. sick and all that stuff. Um, and so we're like, okay, cool. And they said, yeah, just call whenever she's born. Great. So she's born January 28th, January 29th. We call. I say that. I think it was probably like the 30th or 31st. Yeah. We, uh, we call and we're like, hey, she's here. We still good for mid-April? And they were like, nope, we are not. I don't know wow. who told you we had a spot, but there is no spot available. You don't play around with daycare spots. Well, now no. I have to. So luckily, I'm no longer in the school system. Yeah. And I have some flexibility in my job as a pastor. And so I'm able to work with... Um, our staff to where I can go in strategically for this amount of time and I have my baby girl with me for these days and then my in-laws come up for yeah. these days and so like we play you figured it out yeah we're we're just scrambling hey, baby, and so I'm had to make sure I do that for middle of April to uh, mid-June because my wife is in the school system still and then she's going to be out and okay we're good so uh, April comes around and we're like okay call make sure hey are we still good for June and they're like, yes, June's perfect. Great. We get to the week before she's supposed to start in June, and we call and we're like, hey, we're thinking about, you know, what do we need to come up next week? And they're like, oh, we don't have, we don't have you on the list. And so, at this point, I'm furious. I need and to know so who this is. After I the happen to know someone who is not involved with the daycare, but has a lot of clout in that particular area. Okay. And so I'm like, dude, I just want you to know what's going on in the daycare world. Yeah. 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 And so. Uh, my wife gets a phone call, I don't know, a couple hours later. And they're like, hey, sorry, I guess there was some confusion. Can she start, like, yeah, next week or whatever? And so all that goes to the point that we decide we're going to start her this week. We say first week is July. She's officially starting. Mm -hmm. And they say, okay, just make You're your, hyped you know, up. She's hyped yeah. up. We're going to do this. So yesterday, uh, my wife goes up and pays for the first month in full. Um, my, my lovely girl was feeling alone under the weather, so Can't we didn't send money. her yesterday. Today was her first day at daycare, and we get home, and we get a text message. It says, due to the number of COVID cases within our teachers, uh, oh we are not going to have goodness. the daycare open for the next, or it could be closed at 12, and uh, Friday will be closed altogether. And I was like, well, this is just freaking great. Yeah. Freaking glad, I, glad I paid for the whole whole month already. Yeah, I Am need I to, a discount. Oh, you do, get to get, do you not get your money back? I have no idea. He's new. That's, yeah. You need to write. I'm new to this thing, Biden man. needs to help you out. Man. You need to you need to hit up. Did the you board see the Biden. video of him being like, "You can describe America in one word." <laughs> Pardon me, I don't want to get this political. <laughs> I mean, it felt, was funny. It it. I'm sure it was funny. funny. Funny in like the most awful sense. Yeah, not funny. Like I thought not funny. Was, ha ha. Like funny I, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that's how you know meme. I watch too much like, TikTok. I thought, I thought it was a meme, and then I realized it was a video, and I clicked on it. Went, oh, that's real. That's tough. Yeah. Uh, so I think that concludes our show. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Help me out. There's like five different things. Subscribe on YouTube. You get then you get the next one. Go smash the subscribe button. You already <laughs> said that. Yeah, smash it. <laughs> Launch that like button in outer space. Okay. Go to Instagram. Follow on Instagram. TikTok. Like join our join the join Facebook the Facebook group. Do we have a Twitter? No, no. We do, but no, nah, stupid. Uh, I just want to say, side note, Justin. I mean, for a, for a guy that you know, you sing and play guitar in front of hundreds of people, you did great here. I mean, you know, in front of tens of fans. T man, you could see how that but really that's related. That's the best tens of fans I've ever got to, that's to, very to true. perform in front of. That's very true. You know, they're loyal. Hey, and I would like to loyal. say, for my own integrity here, yes. like this was all like entry level to mid level archery. And if you are one of those guys that's like me that you're probably like fuming because we're saying all this stuff that you can go buy right. that is not top notch. Look, get over it. We all started somewhere. Okay? We don't know what feral means, or I don't know what feral means. I, I know Jacob doesn't. Oh, no 100%. Yeah. I, have, I, have a spinnerbait, I have a spinnerbait skirt Yeah, as a silencer. Yeah. 
might work. I we don't. don't we don't claim to be good. We claim to be average. One hundred percent. That's it. And you got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. That's it. See you.